Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we will continue short series about Paris Olympic Games and in this video I will show how to place Olympic rings on Eiffel Tower. So we need to find good reference view in which we can see the location of Olympic rings on Eiffel Tower. So in search bar I type Paris Olympic rings on Eiffel and as good reference i think we can use maybe this image or maybe this one in any case i will need to save this image so i can place it inside revit and later adapt my new revit family onto my eiffel tower model let's click save us let's go back to our olympic rings model and let's save it here now let's open revit and in revit we need to open eiffel tower revit model the model you can find on my first youtube video about eiffel tower of course you can find the links below in description in my Eiffel tower paper model video you can go down to description and here's Revit model Eiffel tower click on the link and here you can find a RVT file so here you can see 3d model of Eiffel tower So this one was made from paper tubes and paper tubes connected with bolts. You can click download and open it with Revit. So I have this model in my folder and I will open it. Okay, so I found my model. I click open. Next step is inserting new generic model. Let's go to insert load family. Let's navigate to Olympic rings and open. Next step is to find good view. I can place it in 3D model view. In this case, I will try to do it on a front view of Eiffel Tower. So first I will choose uh, import image. So I navigate to my Olympic ring folder. I click an image and I place this image. So now I need to scale it up a little bit. So I can change the scale here or I can temporarily enable a view setup and in this case, okay, uh, cropping is not allowed. Let's remove crop. Yep. And now I can zoom it a little bit more. So I need to find basic proportions so I can know in which location I should put Olympic rings. Okay, image is placed in correct location. I go to architecture, select components, go to components and type Olympic rings and select olympic rings now you can see i cannot place it here and the problem can be related to work plane so now i should check the work plane mm -hmm. okay so i need to change maybe the work plane or i can try it to do it on 3d model Let's try to do it in 3D model. Let's change it to scale 1 to 20. So I have smaller objects. Let's go back architecture, components. And okay, so Olympic rings looks quite large. So I need to rescale it. Can I do it? Edit type. Scaling is not an option here. Okay, so in any case, I need to rotate it. So I click Rotate tool and rotate 90 degrees. Okay, now we would like to rotate in this direction. So I will need work plane 1 1, grid 1 1. Select work plane. So grid 1 1 for the work plane. And let's rotate it. Let's disjoin it and let's do a rotation yeah so it will not, not work like that 
Okay, so we can see our Olympic rings are quite big and we need to modify it. So what I will do, I will edit family, but before this one, I go to my reference view, use measure tool and try to measure the size of Olympic rings on Eiffel Tower. It's about 810 millimeters. Okay, so let's go back and click edit family. Let's go to reference level and let's measure the size of this one. So measure tool and here I see it's quite large. Okay, so I can click edit type and in here I can see input units is wrong. It should be not feet but millimeters and in this case and let's use one millimeter and let's move on the rings to correct location. Now let's try to measure it up. Now it's 252 millimeters. So I need to scale it up. I use scale and I select from one point to another and I can type 810. Okay, so now I use move tool and I try to grab midpoint. And put it in, let's say in the middle of my model. Now the size of element is good. Now I need to solve another problem, always vertical. So I remove this check mark, work plane based. I activate this one and I click load into project and close. I will save it and I will replace existing file. I will overwrite the existing version. Now my rings looks great. So from 3D view, I will delete it and I will try to place it directly in my reference view component and A1. Yeah, it looks correct. And I place it here. I reset temporary view. I change it to consistent colors and Olympic rings are on my 3D model. If I go to 3D view, okay, base 3D view. So in here I see my rings are on correct elevation, but it's not on the, on the model. So I click front view and select the model and click move, disjoin and try to move it to this location. From here I can see it's maybe wrong side. So I need to move it once more time because in the format I didn't paint all the sides. So here is a side bit which is not painted. So now the rings are in correct location. Let's hide category. And here you can see Eiffel Tower with Olympic rings. Let's save the project. Next part is to make visualizations. So I should go to Enscape view, activate Enscape and create needed visualizations. In Enscape view, I don't see my rings, so maybe they are hidden. So generic model is activated. Okay, and why it's not visible. Filters, no filters. Okay, maybe imported categories is missing. Yeah, it was imported categories. Okay, let's activate realistic mode. And here we have a realistic mode of Eiffel Tower with Olympic rings. So for now, let's save it. And in next part, I will show how to make visualizations. So thank you for your attention and till next time. Bye.